Plex for Apple TV robot package delivery and the Army's new hobby, shooting down drones. I'm John P. Welcome to GeekBeat. In case you haven't heard the news, Apple's fourth generation Apple TV is available now. And the new box is a dramatic improvement over the old Apple TV, which was way behind competitors like Roku and Amazon Fire. All that new Apple goodness, though, comes with a price. The new Apple TV starts at $149, but now you can install apps on it really opening up the usefulness of these little devices. Some of you are wondering why you might want an Apple TV. Well, if you have a Mac, you can use Apple TV to very easily project your screen onto the TV. And of course, you can watch Netflix and other streaming services through it. But the most exciting development, if you ask me, is that you can now get Plex on Apple TV. Okay, if you don't know what Plex is, it's a streaming media app that you use in conjunction with the free Plex streaming media server to free your digital movie and music collection from the confines of your computer. For example, you can get a Drobo or a Synology or a QNAP network attached storage server, put all your movies on it and run the free Plex app on it to serve the movies within your home. Then, with an Apple TV, a Roku, a Fire TV, a Samsung Smart TV, an LG Smart TV, or even your smartphone or tablet, you can load the Plex app and stream your movie collection all over the place. It's a life-changing experience. If you haven't liberated your movie collection yet, do it! Trust me, I'm a doctor. If you wish your new smartwatch had a little more battery life, never fear, it's coming. The Samsung Band battery is expected to enhance capacity over 50% while still remaining super flexible. The new flexible batteries were able to withstand 50,000 bins during Samsung's tests. But we'll have to see what happens when I get my hands on them. That's the real test. Samsung also just demonstrated a new flexible battery called Stripe that can be embedded in all kinds of things like watch bands, necklaces, t-shirts, heck, maybe even smart jock straps. I don't know why you'd need a smart jock strap, but I don't know, if you think of anything, just tweet me and let me know. The Army Cyber Institute just released some interesting footage of a new cyber capability rifle that's capable of taking down drones in the field. You might be thinking, yeah, so can an M16, but this one does it silently and with nothing but a high-tech beam of badass. They use the same cyber rifle to turn off the light bulbs and even open up door locks. Presumably, those are somehow connected to a smart control system. So if the bad guys are trying to get fancy with the electronic locks and stuff, well, that's not gonna work out so well. And finally, for those of you in Europe, a new service called Starship Delivery intends to put robot package delivery on the streets next year. These little six-wheel robots will begin driving around neighborhoods to drop off packages on demand. According to the company that makes them, they're totally safe, they'll keep out of the way of humans, they're secure, and they unlock when they reach their destination and you use an app to open them up. Now, I don't know about you, but when I hear about things like this, I just think it'll never work because someone's just gonna steal the robots or break into them and take whatever they're delivering. And it wouldn't matter if they're rolling down the road or flying in the air. In fact, delivery copters will make super fun targets for kids of all ages. Especially if you got one of those nifty army ray guns. Anyway, the robots are coming. And if you deliver pizza for a living, you might want to start looking for another job. That's it for today's show. I'm John P. Thanks for watching.